Guys, what you what you guys see in the vice right here is the Frenchy knit. They're right here. This is a simplified version of the uh, Lively Legs pheasant tailed knit. Yeah, it just has peacock. It just it. This one doesn't have peacock curl wing case or whatever. And you see, this has Lively Legs. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna show you guys a trick on how to simplify this and catch just as many fish if not probably the same amount so let's go ahead and get the tonic okay so in the vise right now i have a size 16 dry fly hook the f1 this is the standard dry fly hook 1x fine that's what they look like right there the thread i'll be using is a utc 70 in a dark brown right there. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll start it right behind the bead and I'll take it down. Right, right there. We don't want to go all the way down because we're going to tie in something. Show me thread. Okay, first thing we're going to tie in is some small copper wire. We're just going to tie this in right here. Just going to take it to the back. Okay, so the next thing we're going to tie in is some pheasant tail here. I just took some off of the stem. I'm going to tie this in with three wraps. Okay, one, two, three. I'm going to pull this to the length that I want. I like my tails fairly short. And then I'll just fold this back. And uh, bind that down. Just like that. Alright, now you can go to your local fly shops and you can buy one of these ball ones right here. But uh you can just take one of these little uh, safety pins right here. They go up on a board. Put you a little bit of glue on there. If it ever comes out. Okay, you just want to put you some zap a gap on there. And some up this hook shank right there. Okay. I'll take my pheasant tail, wrap my thread forward here, and what this does is as I wrap this, if one breaks, it won't unwrap all the way. I'm just going to tie this off right there at the head, make up wrap. So now that we wrap this, the zap it gap sets really quick. So now, if one of these breaks, that's not going to come off. Plus, we're counter-wrapping this wire. So now we have wire plus glue. So the body of this fly is pretty much indestructible. So, you're not going to tear that apart. You just see. Plus, your tail's indestructible because we, we never really did... Um, take the tail from the body so the entire thing is pretty much indestructible all right all right so the next thing i'm gonna do is i have my thread right here and i'm gonna take some natural brown rabbit dubbing i'm just gonna come up behind this head right here and we'll make a little ball just like that okay so all i did is i went finish and cut my thread because it's a little bit hard to do with my camera right here so i'm gonna zoom out just a little bit and well if my camera would ever focus okay, there we go i'm gonna show you guys how to create the legs now there's two ways uh you can either use a toothbrush i just have a toothbrush right here that i don't use you can use that or you can use this diy velcro brush you take a popsicle stick some glue and glue it on the popsicle stick you take the velcro and then you just brush it down like that okay so you just take your velcro like that you just fold these down and then just do a hair dab okay so we're gonna come in here now the scissors we're going to trim those off. And there's your little legs. 
So there you go, guys. That is the Frenchy Nymph. My buddy Jake taught me how to tie this. So tie you guys up some of these. This is my favorite fly to fish for with during, while I'm creek fishing. Tie you guys up some of these. Please leave a like and see you guys later.